and welcome back to a personal code of conduct and Dyer thinks she's having one of those who the fuck am I moments again oh god almighty I just abandoned work that I was like oh I'm totally going to do it in the weekend and generally like um, not being a gross human being and able to take care of myself I got my shit together like last week Saturday then my bed broke and I haven't like um I haven't like made steps to be like Wednesday like the whole structure and everything just shattered like after Wednesday and I'm just like oh and I'm avoiding so much human interaction because like human interaction is stressful it requires me to act like I have my shit together which is like ah uh, fuck and like I'm a generally like a tier two friend so or a TSU friend or a random work colleague so this is my only venting opportunity without stressing people out but I keep saying that I'm going to have a plan but I have laid down worthless and only stood up when I was starving on Saturday and Sunday worked on Monday Tuesday loved it but couldn't continue because like not working out in a while didn't have the energy and all that bullshit like that like that but i need to work i need to like get my shit together i need to get my act together i need to iron clothes i need to wash clothes i need to i need to be a responsible well taking care of adults instead of one who's currently laying flat and tired lacking in energy and substance and knowing that the moment she does something the energy will come but just not doing it and not doing and things i don't know how i ought to be managing things i don't know like what is the correct energy levels i don't know if i because i feel like i should be doing more with my life like i'm doing i'm at a good place but i feel like i should be doing more like I should be doing so much that I'm I'm not thinking about existentialism and is it even important to exist in the in the known universe and all that bullshit or I'm not like actively trying to dry my drown my stress away. I haven't done anything. There are no deliverables resting on me and I'm tired. I wish I was like offering value and providing things but I don't know, it's just being a human being is stress I, I have tasks that I should complete today because I said I was going to do them I remember like this similar conversation like have I put myself out there do I have a support system like am I like a terrible person to be around other people like why do people freak me out a, a lot why like do I feel like oh okay when I spoke up I said the wrong thing or why do I feel like I I feel like I don't know enough of that so we'll be looking at it's not enough of that it's just this is a personal code of conduct I'm trying to find the answers I've been trying to find the answers for like a year now and I think it has gotten through me a lot of things I have made decisions here that I've implemented I've made decisions that I'm still struggling to implement it's just easier to soak yourself in the world of fantasy. It's just easier to to consume rather than to create. And that is something I need to build a habit of. And there are things that I have consciously made a habit. And I lost them <laughs> because I unconsciously made another bad habit of... Um, I remember the weekend where I was like, oh, I had so much fun by burning myself out. And now I no longer want to look at that thing again and I, I i i don't want to ask for help because my mind i've already convinced myself that the people would say no for some reason i'm convinced that i am not well liked i don't know it's just and it's a question of and it's a question of do you want to be liked do you want to put that ed- extra effort towards like helping human interaction and whatever and i'm like and the answer is no. The answer is unfortunately no. I wish I could complete tasks that were just above my experience level. I could do them alone. I could bring results. I could learn more things and just live. 
I don't know. The thing is that you need ambition, you need purpose, you need reason. So people manufacture that reason by like living for another person or wanting the best for that person. Either they capture another human being to satisfy their whims and attention or they decide to produce another human being to live for. I don't want to do any of those things, so I need to find a purpose for existence. The stress, the horror. Uh. But I think this is like a try and error phase. It's like finding why I'm searching for happiness. I'm searching for. I'm actually not searching for happiness because, like, constantly laughing is, in my own opinion, toxic. I'm searching for contentment. I'm searching for stability. And I'm getting there. But it's not like, because before it was i did not have stability due to environmental factors now in a place where i have a certain level of stability now it's a question can i keep up to maintain that stability it's not a question of within are you over promising and under delivering are you um are you being capable are you being interesting are you being are you um are you all word with no substance which is something um i've been judging myself about lately like am i all word with um so much substance because i remember i desperately wanted to see somebody like for weeks and weeks and when the opportunity finally came i was uninterested because i was just like why did i want to see this person anyway it's not like they wanted to see me so there's no point and it's not like feeling bad or something it's just i need to get my shit together i need to get my bed frame fixed because i broke it i need to i need to breathe i need to exist i need to give myself a break i need to open up myself to friendships like new ones like there you're 24 you can't like um be a dead guy but the thing is i don't want i want i don't like the thing is when you are starting to lack interest in like existence you start to wonder like oh it was all my effort to develop in- interest and purpose and structure was it in vain was it was it a lie were you lying to yourself and the question is maybe you were maybe you were lying to yourself i don't know <laughs> I have tasks complete. I know that if I'm not dragged for them, I will. And I think I made a huge progress, like huge, huge progress, because I told myself I would no longer overpromise. And I, I actually, unfortunately, did it twice, even though I had stopped for like months, and, and I had stopped doing that, stopped like moving myself to the cause where I'd have to like stress myself, even though I'd really, really stopped doing that. I did like two big over promises that stressing me right now and I was like that was irresponsible that was just irresponsible that was so irresponsible I'm tired I I wish I had more control over existence but I do not that is the thing is, it's easier to be like, oh, okay, like, I wish I had more control. But there's 7 billion of us in this planet and you're not important. Understanding that, conceptualizing that as a, <laughs> as a concept, I don't know. Understanding that idea is different from living through it. It's different from existing through it. It's different from having peace and making that your purpose, your structure, your your so like what is the new resolution for this week i'm going to say i can't do it (laughs) or i'm i'm going to be disappointed in myself and and continue or i'm going to suck it up and ask for help and if the person tells me no well that, that that is that is fine but it's not the thing is (laughs) <laughs> no one is I don't I don't know but I don't work I don't know how people work in 
teams I, I think i'm doing a decent job of it but i have a tendency to just be irritated and be like fine i'll do it myself or or like go through phases where i'm like oh i i'm not doing anything and i'm not contributing to this team and and that's just terrible why am i putting this on the internet it's because it's not popular and i'm not worried about like feedback and i'm not worried about like whatever why did i start a podcast i started it to follow philosophies i started it to like trying to make sense of my existence and right now it's more of a vlog i need ambition why do i need ambition because i think ambition is what is going to give me energy give me happiness for now make me um not be less of a flop and consume content like anyhow i think like that is the solution right now like that is i need ambition i need structure i need i need to know what i want and what do i want i don't know i don't know i don't know i like routine but keep forgetting it's like one horrible day just breaks your routine and you never go back to it again and i'm so surprised like i went through so much effort to lose weight and i'm terrified i'll gain everything back and i'll stop looking cool because i think i look really cool right now i think like my fashion sense is cool but i'm gaining way back and i hate it but then again it's also like don't eat the way you used to oh yeah yeah, yeah. like I'm, I'm thinking of going like very salad forward like this week and forever and down with the rice and pasta and also i want to stop cooking because like while i like my cooking i get tired of like eating the same thing so i just want to focus on more like more vegetables and spices more vegetables more spices and that's the extent of my cooking there will be no um what's the word there will be no rice that has to be cooked no pasta that has to be cooked maybe like they'd be like macaroni and boiling which like macaroni that i'm boiling for the purpose of like stuffing in my pasta like something i can eat cold so it's like yeah that that's the plan hot beef (laughs) hot beef and a ton of vegetables if i can get them sliced because slicing is like a whole ordeal and i'm like yeah i'm going to get them sliced it's going to cost me an irresponsible amount of money but i think i don't want to cook anymore i just want to eat like a ton of vegetables and like if i can get somebody to slice a, a full cabbage for me maybe i'll ask the woman um maybe on monday or like later this evening can you slice a whole cabbage for me i don't want to <laughs> i'm lazy i just want to eat, like a bunch of vegetables and season them and um raw then maybe get like pork and not cook the pork like already cooked pork just heat it up like already cooked suya and already cooked stuff and just like every evening then chop it up and add it with my like vegetables that i buy from that lady season them and not heat heat up the food and food and make that like my meal and put that in two portions because i think my portion sizes are too huge and i end up like not being happy then in the evening i probably just buy like bread ground up bread and I'm, like talking about like my plans for like a tasty meal is making me kind of happy i need to settle down and do research work for um i can do it on my phone i don't have to turn on my laptop and from monday i'll be serious going back to working on the app i was developing the like all the turn of stuff i have to do for work the new project that i started next week I want to be like go back to be a supportive teammate, a go- an effective leader. I want to get my bed frame fixed because I think like this mess I'm creating, I, and I also need to wash dishes and wash clothes, and be more serious about like not being a nasty human being. And oh god, it is so cold that next week. I need to get like new shoes, like boots, like nice boots, and just like wear that. I like nice comfortable boots to go with like my office shirt like I want and I need like more jewelry so I can look cool I like I like how I look in the morning like with like my nice tiny afro I it's, I need to go a bit longer but I don't think I'm ever going to keep long hair again 
because i like never having to think about what to do with my hair even it's like one long sit down session and i keep the hair for like two months i like not having to think about it i like just existing and being a vibe i like looking cool and i think i look cool i just need to get leaner again <laughs> and i need to and i liked when i could run i like it's just a fear that i wouldn't be able to move my body the way i enjoy moving my body and it's like but you don't have the like desire and interest to move your body so there's that i think i like vibes i like emotions i need structure i'm going to i, I, I like talking about like the food i think like every week i think it should be like oh how i plan to get my life together and things i actually do make strides i succeed in things i create new things i learn new things and i need it and it's time to start thinking about what am i going to do next like i enjoy where i am but i'm like if i want like the things i want to buy because yeah, i think i had this conversation like um i need more space i need to move out of where i am i need more space i'm not even certain that i'm i'm going to pay rent this year like i need to be more serious about looking for an apartment like once um i'm getting like a proper maybe in the same area but like with more space just like slightly more space um slightly more space and just like vibing slightly more space then uh, I want to be able to afford a nice secluded house because when I imagine my future it's it's still alone actually like <laughs> I in no um in no um in no like multiverse of my fantasies do I imagine like a family i guess like i imagine myself as an aunt because i had like i imagine myself as an aunt that with a really cool house that like your nephews and nieces love coming and i can't wait for like nephews and nieces i should tell my older siblings to work on that they are working on that <laughs> gross but like i like like I, I can't wait to have like nephews and nieces but I need to be rich like the eccentric aunt lifestyle doesn't work when you're not wealthy I need to take effort and put effort into contacting people because I think a lot of young Nigerians are awkward miserable alone and somebody has to take initiative but like taking initiative is so much work I need to take initiative and be there and but like t- sometimes you just want to like you get in the office you've been smiling at like people um you've been trying to work effectively and things people are fun people are nice but they drain me <laughs> and you just want to just be alone after like a full 10 hour day of interacting with people you just want to be alone so I have work to do. I'm going to get like WPS office open, do the research I need to do, reach out to people, get answers, meet people and I don't know, be fine. And let people have answers. Know what like needs to be done. Know how things are going to be structured. Um uh things are going to be structured and how things are going to be like answered and how things are going to be I'm going to move forward. I don't even know how I kept on saying like, oh, okay, but and understanding that people are just people and people are not out to get you and people don't like hate your very existence. It, that doesn't mean you're going to um, stop avoiding them like the plague, but you should do better. You should um, be a better person, I think. like wash your clothes <laughs> stop being so gross um be a human being who wants to grant people happiness and peace be stable when you're not in the presence of other humans like because when i am well put together like i look like um like that laid back cool person even if i have acne when i'm not in the present and, and i like the fact that i had so much energy like when i look at the past year and how much i was able to achieve and what it got me 
I'm proud of myself. I'm very, very proud of myself, actually. <laughs> but as always, you could have done more. You could be in a better place. You could, um, you could, you could have known more. You could have been there. Do, you could do more, and that caused you to, to overpromise and overwork, and not be there to live. Not like you're sad and miserable. Like, oh no, I'm not living life. And blah blah blah. I meant like, ow. <laughs> I meant like, um, you could give yourself time to achieve this thing like i'm resentful that my study group didn't like kick off and i'm resentful that i had to be the driving force and when it ended up like stopping the other people i invited were not interested <laughs> but like i need to learn how to draw i need to structure habits where the first quarter is ending my guy and the first week of the end of the first quarter has ended I need structure man I need to get my shit together I need free time I need structure I need to not kill myself I need to not make irresponsible promises I need happiness I need peace <laughs> I need joy I need structure I need hope I need like happiness I need to be a copy and paste which I need it's something I'm getting better at doing. I think I like the fact that I gave myself the Saturday and Sunday like flat out not working, which is awesome. I'm I, like I know it's like um, it's just ten o'clock on Sunday, and I'm I still have a task to submit on Tuesday, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll just be fine. It will be fine. It will be fine. It will be fine. It will be fine. I will provide structure. I will. I will be there, and I'll be fine. And I'll say things I ought to do. I don't know. 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 And also, I need to find out like my banking passwords. Like I have it. Like I want to have a ton of money, but like I need to like get my finances straight and actually manage my newfound wealth in quotes oh yeah i need to put myself in order and arrange all the things i have and all that bullshit so what are the plans for existence what are the plans tell me what the plans are okay i need to start moving money places i need like a high interest saving account i need to push more money in my money market fund I need to. The thing is, people have put bad, bad mind in my head about piggy verse, but like, I think like maybe like getting a savings target of about two million this year. I guess it's it's that's like that's, that's a good amount. I should I should have two million by the end of this year. I don't know. See me saying random shit on the internet. Not dollars. Though. Remember, this is the third world country with our currency rates of going from like five hundred and five hundred and seventeen naira to the dollar. So like, it's it's not much of a saving at all. It's like five thousand dollars or three thousand dollars or something in a full year. But then again, I live in a country that has. Um, this is oversharing, isn't it? It is. It is. It actually is. It is. It is oversharing. But nobody. Okay, people. I don't know, but then again, we're existing, we're vibing, and I, I'm serious. I'm going to open that second podcast. It, I, the reason why is like there's so much roadblocks because now I can't get like, oh, what the fucking? I totally forgot about multiple accounts. I can't get another app. There yo. Thanks. Uh, I need to get like an anchor, like a ten minute, write, just read out a random story and have like a novelization and have that every day oh see that you're making everyday promises but i'm finally going to write that novel in audio form which one i don't know i have to go back like i said i was going to do which i did not go back and listen to that podcast where i was talking about like um plot lines i had gone on with and i'm like which one should i start with like should i start with like the real estate agent in space for my warrior race should i start with like the i think because my writing is so shit like when I write text, it takes like so many. I make I make assumptions that I've already said things, or I made assumptions that I've already typed things. Cause my mind moves so much faster than like my mouth sometimes, and my like bio 
<laughs> my pen my typing my typing is shit and i realized that i should take yeah multiple accounts Daya is probably going to um set up her novel one and i know i will not be posting the novel one <laughs> um i like i won't be sharing it to my whatsapp contacts i won't i won't oh yeah and i need to be check like my stats and see like where most of my viewership is from my vo- most of my viewership is actually like even though it's like very few viewership my whatsapp broadcast list doesn't do shit like it doesn't do shit to my numbers most of my viewership when i have a spiked episode is from the us am i me using the word viewership listenership or listeners yeah listeners are from the us like but like, I, this is just like a venting point because I, I remember the time when i went as a venting point like sometimes i do um interviews i haven't done an interview in a while i haven't used a proper mic in a while i'm and seeking to a new phone and um yeah yeah but like i worked and and this new week is going to be a lot less carb way more vegetables way more beef okay no i'm already eating like a lot of meat so like a lot more vegetables raw vegetables um i'm going to see if i can pay somebody to chop them when i go to the markets like i don't even send again like but today I'm going to have a last huge carb hurrah. I don't know how I still kind of have a blind kind of or how my stomach is still really fucking flat in the morning. I still don't know. But like I as I was a not a very humble brag. <laughs> but I I feel like I'm getting fat as usual. Then I'm going to go back to like fifth to I and I like like the way I just naturally move like did a full body movement like Monday, Tuesday of working out. I should go back to doing that. It was so much fun when I just get up and do shit. First you have to wash clothes. First you have to report that your bed frame is broken so you can get a carpenter to fix it and stop living like a mess. You have to do the dishes. You have to be like, get your shit together and not look like a script. Cause I look so fucking cool. Like you need to see me like with like the big shirt, like the office shoes, the office pants, and the chains and the jewelry and face. I am getting hyperpigmentation and acne again because I'm not respons. I'm not as responsible with my skin as I used to be. And I'm like, no, my flawless skin gone. Even though I have the tools, the appropriate tools to take care of it. Then I put on more sunscreen, or maybe by the end of this month. Even though I know I can afford it now, but like by the end of this month, I should get like an elegant sunscreen. Because I was like, oh, I use Altris religiously. It's not elegant, and maybe I should be using it more for my body. I should get like one of those elegant Japanese sunscreens, and be get used to like having moisturizer on my face. Like using, I should get an elegant Japanese sunscreen. Yeah, I used to be dedicated to putting on sunscreen because like my hyperpigmentation in my face like my face is so prone to tanning <laughs> and it looks so weird it now looks like my chest doesn't do, my tits don't belong to my face <laughs> weird it's like who the fuck whose face is that on those tits i am immortally like um uh, i don't know it's like energy stand up exists um i don't know maybe i should look for like a song like a nice lazy vibey song to put at the end of this yeah download that like on like skull candy or something i don't know i'll look for a cool song on youtube music go and pirate it then um what put it at the end of here then maybe like use a jazz background um yeah i'll probably use one of those anchor backgrounds because since i'm recording this on my phone so yeah i'm trying to make it to 30 minutes but like so I'll be like, oh yeah, the first time Dyer has gotten to 30 minutes in a while. So what is coming from Dyer, the second podcast? Because I just realized, Dyer, multiple accounts. Like, you can use two apps, dude. Like, you don't need to have, like, the whole stress process. You can even have, like, multiple apps in the same fucking whatever. So, like, multiple accounts, dude. Like, that app, yeah. So, like, yeah. The second podcast which is just like a novelization because I've been reading a ton of like novelizations as not reading it's I'm talking podcasts I've been listening to a ton of like novelizations and whatever while I work which I'm I'm so glad I decided to use Saturday and Sunday to just be a dead fish 
but like the guilt is cropping up and I was to probably do some kind of work because I like, Dio went to and over promise people I'm ashamed that sentence should have never come out of my mouth I feel like hitting myself but like it'll be fine <laughs> fuck you and you're very irresponsible um, talking and how and the human body is so fucking slow to do shit but like okay it has been a personal code of conduct I sound eternally tired even though I eat a ton and don't move at all. <laughs> it has been a personal code of conduct. Another week is starting. I cannot wait till upper week so I don't have to be in the office. Ugh. But then again, I have I realized I have a tendency to overwork myself when I'm at home. Ah, fuck. Well, it has been a personal code of conduct. I will find something that doesn't sound very loud. I don't know if this even sounded at all since I'm recording it on a phone that I have smashed the bottom of the screen. And yeah, I'll find a fun song. And yeah, it has been a personal code of conduct and I am not losing this audio streak. Bye bye, I think. Despair. 